State and Alabama. Two of the best. They of bring nobility, the they bring dignity, they bring honor, and they bring excitement. We got an opportunity to maybe write one of the best stories ever in college football history. He's got a touchdown! Hurdling is Harris! Devontae Smith, here we go! The guy you're going to play against may be the best guy you played against all year. This is a feeling like no other. I'm happy. Even it don't matter what we play, it's just by the ball. I'm ready. You don't typically get an opportunity to have a second chance. You can't miss the second time. Four days until the national championship game, Alabama is looking for the 13th title in the AP or Coaches Poll era, extending their all-time lead. Ohio State is after their seventh championship. A win would give Nick Saban his seventh national title, breaking a tie with Bear Bryant for the most in major college football history. He would also be the first coach to win national titles in three different decades. The Buckeyes will be looking for another big game from Justin Fields if they hope to upset Bama. Fields set Ohio State Bowl records for pass yards and pass touchdowns in their semifinal win versus Clemson. With all the latest buzz ahead of Monday's national title game, we welcome in our reporter, Holly Rowe. Holly, Nick Saban spoke to the media within the last hour. What did he have to say about Jalen Waddell's status for Monday night's national title game? Well, I can tell you a lot of people were excited when they heard that Jalen Waddell had practiced. He's a receiver with five games, had already 25 receptions before he went down with an injury. And the players that saw him practice said he looked good, but you have to ask coach how he did. Nick Saban said it's a little too early to tell if he can play or not. He is. I've been able to practice, you know, some. Uh, his status for the game is still relatively, you know, up in the air and it'll probably be... Uh, you know, game day decision. Now, guys, just imagine this is one of the most prolific offenses in the country, averaging almost 50 points a game, and they have the Heisman winner in Devontae Smith. So if they were able to add Jalen Waddell, even to just run a few routes, that changes how Ohio State has to defend Smith, maybe take some of that bracket coverage off of him. We'll see if Waddell is able to play and contribute. By the way, Waddell has in place since October 24th when he fractured his ankle against Tennessee. Holly Rowe with the latest, just four more days until the national championship here on ESPN. David? All right, let's dig deeper to this with College Game Day's Desmond Howard. Des, you know, at one point, Jalen Waddell was considered the most dangerous man on that Bama offense, not Devontae Smith. So you add him to the Heisman winner and the rest of that bunch. What impact would that have on this game? David, let me put it in perspective. Before the season started, I picked Jalen Waddle, not Trevor Lawrence of Clemson, but Jalen Waddle of Alabama to win the Heisman. <laughs> he's that explosive and dynamic. I mean, he's a game changer. He's unbelievable. I mean, he they can move him around. You know, he can play out wide. He can play in the slot. He can run jet sweeps. He's an excellent return, man. He's very dynamic with the ball in his hands. He's a deep threat. Jalen Waddle caught 17 touchdown passes for 757 yards. David, that's a 44-yard per catch, per touchdown average. Are you kidding me? You put him on the opposite side <laughs> of Devontae Smith, the Heisman Trophy winner? Yeah, the Buckeyes got problems. Even if he's just out there on the field, warming up before the game, running routes, I tell you what, you put a, ca a camera on the defensive coordinator of uh, Ohio State, and you will see sweat coming down his <laughs> head because that's a problem. So, man, this is just adding more intrigue to the storyline with this whole Jalen Waddle potentially playing piece. All right. The man is a home run hitter, that's for sure. We'll see what happens on Monday night. Let's, let's give the Buckeye Nation some solace here. Let's talk <laughs> about that. Trey Sermon has been unbelievable as well. Sort of giving flashbacks to Ezekiel Elliott a few years ago when Ohio State won the national title. The guy's got 524 yards in the last two games, Des. How important is he? What does he need to do for Ohio State to win this football game? Dave, he's very important. Because when you look at, just, just, let's, let's look at Alabama's defense, right? You say, okay, when have they played an offense with the firepower that we saw in the Sugar Bowl from Ohio State? Maybe Florida. But Florida doesn't have the running game that uh, Ohio State has with Trey Sermon. We talked about the Michigan State game. He averaged 11 yards per carry. And then the Northwestern game in the Big Ten Championship, he averaged 11 yards per carry again. And then the Sugar Bowl against Clemson, he almost hit them up for 200 yards on the ground. But even more importantly, David, he's adding to their passing game. And that Sugar Bowl, he caught four passes for 61 yards. That's a 15-yard per catch average. And he's now the check down guy 
for Justin Fields if Justin Fields get in trouble. So what he brings to this offense has been tremendous the last three games, has been amazing. It's everything that they need to go into Monday night's championship game against the Alabama Crimson Tide. It just sounds like a lot of offense is coming our way on Monday. That's what I'm hearing from you, and uh, just looking forward to it. Desmond getting us ready for it on Monday night.